Hi, Adela. Good night. Hello. Hello. Good night, Adela. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. That's nice to hey, hear. How about you? Ah, pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh, it's nice to see you once again, guys. Thank I'm so you. happy. Yeah. <laughs> you look fresh and relaxed today. Oh, actually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> also, Mr. Lewis. Hey, how are you? Pretty good, sir. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? It was me. No. Are you okay? Yes, okay. That's nice to hear. I have Melvin also. Hi, Melvin. How are you? Hello, how are you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. I'm so happy. It's a new day in a new week. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm. To yeah, I'm happy also that I'm alive, first of all. <laughs> yeah. And second of all, that I'm able to be here with you, with my babies. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. I miss you guys. Why? Yes. I miss you. Because, um, really? you know what, as a teacher, yeah. um, we, so, I think so we, we are, um, I don't know how to say that, and let me check if I can express myself a little bit much better. Um, we are at the end of the course, maybe, while we're with you, interacting with you. Each of you are unique. Each of you have your own personality. And each of you have your own qualities. So basically, you, um, as a teacher, we ended up to, to love you individually. And also to, to meet you a little bit or to get to know you a little bit. So as a teacher, I think... Um, we involved with you yes because yes. basically basically teachers um you know being a teacher is not only giving classes actually being a teacher uh, well actually that's what i have always think is that a teacher is the one that uh, opens your mind give you a hand but most likely touch your heart okay <laughs> yeah so basically um i miss you i miss my babies during the weekend yeah i have another yes. babies uh, two dogs by the way <laughs> but they are not the same <laughs> truly in this time and pandemics time it's, yeah this is an escape for for us mm -hmm. learn learn english meeting other persons exactly exactly it's it's too it's too much it's too better for each day with uh, share with with partners with the teacher is an escape in this situation definitely because basically, basically each of you has their own uh, environment their own type of work some of yes. them are stressful yes. and others and when it's time like hey i'm going to see my classmates Yes. Yeah, we're going to hang it out with, with, with each other, right? We're going to listen to Adela's new recipe, by the way, right? What what did she eat uh, today? What Adela lunch? cooked today? Exactly. Yeah, that you know what? That's a really good question, Melby. What did you cook today, Adela? <laughs> Tell today, us. I no cook today. Eee! No. Oh, That's why really? it was raining the whole afternoon. <laughs> no. Don't uh, tell me why. Necessary rest. Long. Yes was um kentucky chicken <laughs> ah really it was a delivery one okay yeah <laughs> okay but that's good at least you change a little bit but yeah. you know what never invite victor because victor loves a uh, uh, fried chicken especially well, compare chicken right last time this he is, bought five pieces <laughs> this is the other the other surprise in the day we are waiting what did victor do this day. Oh, yes. Victor, <laughs> answer to Melvin. What did you do today? <laughs> work. I, I, I work it all day. Okay. Okay. Hey, you didn't buy yeah. anything to eat, by the way? No. No? Nothing yeah, actually, special? Actually, actually, actually I, I feel bad. My, my butt is like, I don't know how to say it. You, you, have, you have a back I pain? I feel... Yeah. Oh. 
I understand. Maybe you can uh, grab a pillow and put it on your back so you could be like a straight. Yeah, that could be. You understand what I'm okay. talking about? I, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I will try. Yeah, or you can ask uh, your mommy to massage. Oh ma my massage. God, yeah. Your mama, yeah. You know, sometimes I, I massage my husband back with the, with the hands, but at the same time with my feet. Yes. It's yeah, really nice. That's what I need. Yeah, and also if you have like a little, uh, 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 an ice, I don't know, I have blue eyes, uh -huh. which is basically for therapy. So, because I do have backup problems, actually. My <laughs> dorsal back, ugh, sometimes it kills me because of a type of job that I have to be, sit the whole day, actually, right? <laughs> and just stand up a little bit. So, I just put some eyes in the back. Well, in my case, my skin supports the cold. In my case, because I love cold things. But there are some people um, <laughs> that they are like um, allergic or too sensitive. So maybe you put some toy, to, uh, towel, and then on top of the towel, you put the, um, the ice, or the block of the ice. And until you see that your skin a little bit um, pink, it's time for you to remove the, the ice. That helps a lot. Yeah, because right now I feel, I feel like my back, my back is going to kill me. I know. I have been like that, and I know how hard it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you have like a peel, maybe? Like a peel uh, for yeah. massage, I don't know, the muscles? For relax the muscles, maybe. Uh, maybe ibuprofen or something like that. Uh, no, I, there's another peel, right, guys? Adela, Melvin, Luis? Metocar metocarbamol, uh -huh. muscular. Exactly, mm -hmm. because sometimes it's what it is. Met yeah. It's a muscular can, tension can, on the back. Can you, can you say? Can you send me the name and, and the message? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Melvin. Let me know if I if I wrote metocarbamol correctly. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> please, you need to help me in Spanish, guys. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! You're my Spanish teacher. That's amazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you, guys. Ah, that's why I love you. Okay, I have uh, another volunteer here. Mr. Rafael, welcome back. Rene Sandoval, welcome back. Rene Quintanilla, welcome back, sir. Hello. Wow. Hello. Pretty good, Rene. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? I, I, I sorry. Last week, I couldn't connect. That's okay, but uh, Man, now you're good. You're here. here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is very nice. Also, Manuel, I, I want, Mauricio. I want, to, I want to continue learning. Yes. And I want to continue uh, teaching you as well. Excellent. Transmit the little knowledge that I know about English. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Uh, I have Mauricio Velasquez. Mauricio, welcome back. It's nice to see you again, sir. Uh, we cannot hear you. Hi. Ah, yeah, much better. Hi, how yeah. are you? Uh, very tired. Very tired, yeah, you look like yes. that, like Victor. Yes, we had many difficulties last week, and yes. uh, we can be in the class, but yeah. uh, I am ready again. Yes, and I'm ready to have you here. I'm so happy. I'm thank so you, happy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for being here, okay? Thank, thank you. you. Emerson Andrade, how are you? Pretty good? Okay, where is Emerson? Emerson, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you here, sir. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Me too. Me too. I'm happy that we start a new week, sir. And this week, we're going to suffer. Because in this week, we're going to be like, this week, we're not going to play Kahoo. Okay? <laughs> this week, we're I'm going to double to check. check like four topics, Oof, really tough. No, they're not tough, but they're really nice. And it will help you a lot. And you're going to speak a lot this week. <laughs> More than the last two weeks ago, all righty? <laughs> so you need to be prepared. Okay, by the way, you did your homework. <gasps> no, actually it was not homework, right? <laughs> I, get, uh, yeah, I send you like an um, article, right? Article, yeah. About the type of transportation, basically they are brand new to, uh, type of transportation for you, right? They're really interesting type of transportation, right? Okay, so if you read the article, 
Uh, if we have time, I'm going to ask you some questions regarding the article okay. Okay. to make sure that if you understood correctly or not, right? That's okay. the way we're going. Sometimes I'm going to send you an article for you to practice at home. And I'm going to ask you the questions about the article. And sometimes we are, we're, we'll be able to take a look at the article on the class, during the class, and we're going to discuss about it, all right? Don't worry, Mauricio. Don't worry. Like, he's like, oh my God. No, don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. Everything's going to be all right, okay? Don't worry, you're, you're okay. safe, you're safe, okay? Okay, I'm going to ask, how, how is she going? Leticia, how are you, Leti? Hi, good evening. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Good, very good. Very good. Yeah, you sound yeah. like happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Could, could we see your face? Um, Not me. really. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if, you're, if you don't have a makeup. Don't worry about that. Yeah, okay. Just a oh. little bit. Okay. Um. <laughs> yes, Letty, we miss you. Okay, we have mm -hmm. 11. Oh, yeah. Hi. Letty, you look beautiful. Oh, come on, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I love your chicks. <laughs> They're like mine. Yeah. No. <laughs> Very good. You see that. My, my son, my son have the same. <laughs> the same chicks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Oh, he's supposed to be beautiful. He's, he's really cute, right? Yeah. How old is your like, son, like, by the like, way? Like me. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. No doubt about that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how old is your son, by the way? Two, two years. Two years? Yeah. Oh, yeah. such a really good baby. Oh, what is his name? Mateo. Matthew. Yeah. Hey, Matthew. <laughs> I, I love that name. It's really yeah. beautiful. It's, it's so popular in, the, in his generation. Yeah. When when he gone he at the the school. Yeah. Maybe it's a lot of Mateo, a lot of uh, Matia. Really? Lot. Yeah. There are a lot, a lot of kids with the uh, with the same name or similar name. All right, that's nice. Yeah. Well, all the mommies. Uh, yeah. Make an agreement, right? <laughs> All righty. Yeah. Okay, so we're about to start. We, are, we have 11 people right now. Maybe we're going to wait during the class. There will be some, somebody else, right, who will be enjoying the class. But we're going to start. All righty. Guys, today let me ask you a question because today we're going to uh, talk about a really interesting topic. Um, have you ever heard about evaluations and comparisons? Uh huh. No. All right. We use that actually. For example, uh, when you pretend to buy a car, or when you pretend to buy like a, a house or an apartment, we use evaluation and comparisons, and uh, we also use guys nouns and adjectives. Maybe you know that because you have done that. My my baby, you have not studied that topic. Okay, and we're going to study the topic today actually. Tell me, guys, what is an adjective? Just to make a little bit of refresh, what is an adjective? What is the function of an adjective? Who can tell me that? Raise your hand. Modify the noun. Modifies the noun, exactly. Modifies it and qualifies it, right? Okay, very good. What about a noun? What is a noun? Subject. A subject? Like, for example, Victor Dolfo's lip. <laughs> For example, Letty, what is a subject? What is a noun? Let me let me help you. Uh, cellular. It is is it a, is it a noun? Yes. 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 Alrighty. What about um cell phone charger? Is this a noun? Yes. 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 All right. What else? Oh, what about headsets? It is a noun? Yes. 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 It's an article. Exactly. It's an article. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, is this a noun? Yes. 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 Student. Student. Yes, right? Yes. yes. And now, as I remember, you could be person. It could be an object. It could be countries, right? It could be animals. 
Lasers. Lasers? Exactly. You, I know that you knew it, Adela. I knew it, okay? <laughs> you just need a little bit push. Okay, that's great. I'm so happy. Very good, Adela. Give me a little five. Excellent. All right. So, guys, let me. today we're going to use nouns and adjectives with two types of, uh, we can say, um, point of view or, or, or adjustment. You know what judgment is? Judgment, right? Who's got? Who's yours? Who is yours? Who is yours? Yes, judgment. Okay. We're going to talk about evaluations first. And then tomorrow we're going to talk about comparisons. And we're going to see with both, with nouns and with adjectives. Okay? But today we're going to talk about, we're going to see how we use them with basically when we're willing to move or to buy a house or an apartment, okay? Tell me something. Hey, Gabby, how are you, Gabby? How are you, Roxy? Welcome back. Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, don't, don't worry about that. Okay, uh, we are discussing Gabby and Roxy about evaluations. We're going to talk about evaluations using adjectives and nouns today. When we are going to talk about, or we will discuss about the advantage and disadvantages or of living or buying ha and a house or an apartment, okay? Tell me something, guys. Uh, what do you prefer, do you prefer? A house or an apartment? Who can tell me? Uh, okay, house. raise your hand, raise your hand who wants a house? Who loves a house? Ha a house only Melvin and Victor, Gabriela? What about you, Luis? House, house or apartment? A house. Ha house. Adela, what about you? House or apartment? House. 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 Emerson, what about you? House or apartment? House. House. Rafael, what about you? House. House. Rene? House. Okay, what about you, Roxy? House too. House. Hey, what about you, Letty? House. Rene Sandoval? What oh. about you? House. Emerson? House, teacher. House. Okay, so I think everybody is agree that prefer house than apartment. Okay, now I want you guys to let me know why. Is there, uh, what is that, what do you prefer the house? Melby. Because it's a... Okay, Rafael, Houses. Rafael, Rafael, okay. Because Sorry, Melby, then you. Because for me, mm -hmm. it, it, it's important to escape during, uh, during the earthquake. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. <laughs> That's a For really me. good one. <laughs> and, uh -huh. A few years ago, mm -hmm. I lived in an apartment. Ah, okay, you lived, okay. Lived, yes, and I don't like it. You didn't like it? No. Why? Because... I heard every sound of my neighbor. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say vecinos? Neighbors. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't like. Okay. So basically you said that you didn't like it because <coughs> listen carefully. It's too noisy. Exactly. Noisy. It's noisy. So that means there was not privacy. Right? Oh, exactly. Exactly. Or there wasn't enough privacy, right? Okay. Very good. That's, that's a good one, Rafael. Okay, Melvin, that was your turn. Go ahead. Okay, the house used to be more, more, uh, per, sorry, the apartment mm -hmm. used to be more expensive mm -hmm. and too small, mm -hmm. uh, so smaller than a house. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same, the neighbors uh, <laughs> listen all with, we, we talk and in the night, uh, the the noisy, the TV, watching TV in the uh, high hours in the night, mm -hmm. and music. Uh, the, <laughs> the music, etc., and uh, the parking too, mm -hmm. the parking for your 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 car if you if you have mm -hmm. is uh, in, in my in my case in front in front of my house. Not, mm -hmm. uh, not is too far for parking. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. What about you, Gabby? 
I share the same uh, observation. For me, it's important mm -hmm. the space, mm -hmm. uh, the privacy, and it's for me a little insecure if I don't know if in an earthquake um, all the apartments goes down and I don't mm -hmm. know what happened in this case. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Very good. Uh, who think the same of uh, Melvin, Rafael, and Gabby? Victor, Luis, Roxy? Oh, I don't know, uh, Mauricio or Adela, would you like to add something else? Luis? Uh, in, yes. my, in my case, in, mm -hmm. in, I like to, to have a party with my family in my house. Mm -hmm. And in an apartment is is very difficult because you, you can have many problems with your neighbors. Mm -hmm. They don't like the, the music, uh, they don't like the noise. And in your house, mm -hmm. you are in, in privacy. Uh, all the members of your family very happy, mm -hmm. singing, dancing with the music. Uh, okay. Alto volume. And High volume. High volume. No, no, no have problems with, with anything. Exactly. Anybody. You're right about that. Yes. So basically, you have more privacy. Yes. All right. Yes. Very good. And the apartments, you, uh, you do not have enough privacy. Okay. Yeah. But also, Melvin said that they're too expensive, right? The apartments. Well, yes. sometimes, right? Depends, guys, where you live, right? The sun. Okay. De depends on the area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very good, Luis. Rene, would you like to add something else? Rene Quintanilla? Yes. Uh, Go ahead. Why uh, a house because mm -hmm. uh, the comfort, the space, uh, uh, and I like to have uh, some some plants. And, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know uh, I, because I only live in in a house, and I prefer mm -hmm. the the house. I I, I don't know. Who is live to in an apartment? Mm -hmm. You don't know how is living in an apartment or to live in an yes, apartment. Yes. Okay, okay, guys. Now you said that you prefer house, but besides Rafael, that he said that he used to live in an apartment and now he lives in a house. Uh, uh, some of you did uh, live in an apartment also, or no? You had never lived in an apartment. Yes. Never. Melvin? Right. Yeah, you did. <clears throat> Mauricio? Yes. Yes. I was living in an apartment. Yes. Also, Victor. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you didn't like it. No. Okay. No. What about you, Yvette? Do you used to live in an apartment or a house? I don't know. Or Emerson? Roxy? No. No, I don't like because in some in some apartment it's mm -hmm. permitted to have a a pet. Oh, very good. Pets are not allowed. Exactly. Yes, you know what? Is that is the case? I'm not going to live in an apartment because for me, my pets are my is they're part of my family. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'm like I'm like that. I will. Even though you know when I when my husband and I like go to like vacation, for example, uh, we always look for um a hotel, right? Uh, or a hostel, right? Is who basically allow pets. If they don't, we say no. Okay. We say because we're paying for that. So no way. Yes. How many pets do you have? Two. I have two. But every time oh. that we go on vacation, I make a, a, a luggage just for them. With the food, with the shampoo, with the cleaning stuff, right? And with the towels, with the plates, right? Clothes? Yeah. Clothes, of course, because if we if I know that we're going, for example, to hot area, of course, the bathing suit, right? <laughs> and and if we are going to, for example, to a cold area like a taco, a paneca, la palma, something like that, okay. okay, they have they have t shirts, right? They have the shirts, actually. Yeah, they do. Uh you have I, two two dogs or I have two dogs. Whiskey? That, uh, that is the chestnut. oldest one. He's seven years and yeah, a chestnut who is basically seven months. It's Whiskey's son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Yeah, so definitely. I know I had to pay. So there's some places that I had to pay extra, but it doesn't matter. They're with me. Okay. Yeah, if there's an occasion that I can't, of course, I'm look for somebody who loves pets yes. and that also my pets get along with. So basically, I ask them to take care of them. But that was not really weird cases. Yes. I don't have kids, so <laughs> that's the difference, <laughs> right? With kids that are different, right, Gabby? Right, Yvette? They are different. Kid, I know. Right, Adela? <laughs> but I don't have kids right now, so I basically they're my babies. I am, I, am looking for, I am looking for a pet right now. Really? What yeah. Time? But, oh my God, but a give me two... To Chalatenango, that would be. <laughs> uh, it's not for me. It's for my grandparents. Oh. So I, oh. I, I, I am going to give him a gift. Mexico. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. If I know somebody, I will let you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, okay. Basically, I'm going to show you something, guys, because um, for us to evaluate, to make judgments, the, the thing that you have done right now, guys, you have evaluate. Evaluate, guys, with nouns and adjectives is only you're talking about one thing, okay? Mm. You are evaluating, for example, right? You are evaluating your house, so you're talking about that, and that's it. But comparison is two things, two different things, okay? So today we're going to double check and talk about evaluations with nouns and adjectives. And that means that we're going to talk about one thing, right? And tomorrow, we're going to talk about comparisons to things, like, for example, apartments and houses, right? Using as well nouns and adjectives. That's what we're going to do right now. But for you to even though use evaluations or comparisons, you need to have more vocabulary. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So right now, guys, I'm going to show you, well, show you on my screen, there's some information or some adjectives that is, they are really important and useful when we are comparing or we are evaluating something. Okay. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with you. I will share it right now with you. Just bear with me. Let me try to look up pop up really quickly for you. Woohoo, yes, I'm almost there. There you go. Okay, I have it what I needed. There you go. Just let me do like a little bigger, a little bit bigger. Okay, okay guys, basically that will, what we're going to learn, we're going to learn about um, words that we use to describe houses and apartments, and also guys, we're going to learn about negative ones and positive ones, okay? That's what we're going to learn. Because of course, we evaluate and we compare and we use uh, negative adjectives and positive adjectives as well, right? So we need to learn both. All right, so allow me one moment, let me share my screen and let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen. Can you see it guys? Yes? Yes? It's not looks yes. uh, clear. But, but what about now, Gabby? Is it much better? Yes, it's much better. Yes. Are you sure? Much better. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. So guys, we have it here. Okay. We got the first one. Bright. You know what bright means? Bright. Brillante. Yes. Pero Eh, más que todo, luminoso. Luminoso. Okay, when there is a, an, enough light, ¿sí? Cuando hay suficiente luz, yes? Okay, tell me guys, this is positive or a negative adjective? What do you think? Positive. Positive, of course. Okay, what about this one? The, the next one, comfortable. Comfortable. No, no comfortable, it's comfortable. 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 Positive. Comfortable. Positive. Positive, Positive, right? Positive. ¿Qué significa? Yes. Comfortable. 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 Comodo. Comodo, exactly. The next one, convenient. 
convenient. Conveniente. Conveniente. Sí, conveniente, pero podría ayudarme a alguien más. Convenient, conveniente, podría ser. Sí, podría ser conveniente. Ok. Is it positive or negative, guys? Positive. Positive, positive of course. What about crumpet? I don't know what means. You don't know what means? No. Are you negative, sure? Right? Is it negative? Yes. But you don't know what cramp it is? Any idea? Rompido. Are you uh, sure? It is no. a crow. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, almost. Okay, guys. Tell me something. Bite. It's um, like a bite. Aha, uh -huh. yes, exactly, Victor. Oh, yeah. Have you gone, guys, to the um, la, downtown streets? Eh? Yes, yes, yes. Do you remember that there used to be a lot of people who were selling on the on the sidewalks? Hmm? On the streets, see? Yes. Tell me, yes. was it difficult to, to walk? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? Is the, yes. Yes, because it was crumped, guys. Estaba estrecho. was crumped. Estrecho. Okay. Estrecho. So, mm -hmm. crumped is estrecho. Okay. So, that is negative, right? Sí. Yes. yes. All right. What about dangerous? Is it positive or negative? Negative. 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 What does it mean in Spanish? Peligroso. Peligroso. Exactly. Very good. What about dark? Oscuro. Exactly. Dark guys is the opposite of bright, right? Yeah. Is it negative or positive? Negative. 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 Excellent. What about dingy? Dingy. What does it mean, yes. dingy? Any idea? I don't know. No. 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 Idea. no. no. Yes, baby. It's the same of dirty. Dirty. A similar, Melvin. Similar. Yeah. Yes, but baby. Dangerous is negative. Oh negative. my God, and I put a positive? May I apologize for that? Thank you, honey. Thank you for letting me know that. Yes, I don't know what I was thinking about. Exactly, you're right about that. So it's negative, right? Yes. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, Melvin. All righty. Teacher, what is the pronunciation to dingy or dingy? I will, I will. We're going to practice the pronunciation. Dingy. 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 Guys. Negative. It's negative, yes. What does it mean? Sucio. Sucio. Mm. Sucio. All right. Pero como que ha pasado 100 años y nadie, nadie le ha pasado ni un trapeador encima, like that. But what, what is the difference uh, between dirty, dirty and dingy? Okay. Que dirty... Es sucio. Y dingy es lo que nosotros llamamos en, el, en español o en El Salvador, chuco, re, chuco, re, mugre. Cochino. Exacto. It's more than dirty. Exacto. Es como un dirty elevado a la décima potencia. A la edad. Hoy sí, Gaby. Sí. Ok, cool. What about expensive? Negative. Negative. What does it mean, guys? Claro. 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 Very good. What about huge? Grande. Oh, sí. Huge es enorme. Enorme. Is it positive or negative? Positive. Are you sure? Positive. positive, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. What about inconvenient? Es lo contrario de convenient, negative. guys. Negative. Yeah. No es conveniente, right? What about modern? Moderno. Moderno. Positive. Exactly. Positive. <laughs> Exactly. Positivo or negativo? Positive, right? Which one? Positive. Yeah, positive. Modern. Moderno. Okay, what about noisy? Lo que decía negative. Rafael, noisy. Negative. Exactly. Negative. negative. Very good. What about private? Private. Positive, positive right? Positive. Yeah. yeah. What about quiet? Positive. Uh, positive. Quiet is silencioso. Okay, yeah. Safe is lo contrario de dangerous, guys. Seguro. Seguro. Exactly. What about shabby? What does it mean, shabby? Like, Any idea? Desgastado. Like but cute. Are you sure? Desgastado. 
Uh -huh. Degastado, ok. Uh, uh, degastado, no, es algo en mal estado. ¿Sí? Como que algo se está cayendo, está en ruinas, something like that. Es un negativo, uh -huh. right? Sí. Uh -huh. bad. ¿Sí? Shabby for, para las cosas o para qué, o sea, para qué tipo de cosas se usa shabby. En mal estado para las cosas, no para las personas. The, the house is shabby. Sí, the house. The... Oh son, my... son, son electronic products. Electronic products, houses, uh, apartments, the car. cars. Mm -hmm. It's, the it's like the broken. Perfect. No, porque algo broken, you can repair it. Pero en Xavi es que de plano no, ya no. Uh, ya, está en mal estado y ya no. Like you cannot... my relationship. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What about small guys? Uh, pequeño. pequeño. Yeah, it's a yeah. negative, right? Yeah. Yeah. And spacious? Spacious? Oh, right, positive. positive. All right, spacious. Okay, guys, so let's practice a pronunciation, all right? Okay. All righty, there you go. Okay, we got a spotlight. Oops. Okay, repeat after me. Bright. 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 Comfortable. Comfortable. Convenient. Convenient. Cramped. 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 Dangerous. 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 Dark. Dark. Dingy. Dingy. Expensive. Expensive. Huge. 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 Inconvenient. Inconvenient. Modern. 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 Noisy. 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 Private. 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 Quiet. 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 Safe. 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 Shabby. Shabby. Small. 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 Spacious. 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 Okay. Spacious. Very good. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Okay, you have already a vocabulary here. So, si ustedes se fijan, todo esto que es, is a, is, a, is a noun or is an adjective? Adjective. Adjectives. Adjectives. Okay, are they adjectives? Okay. Who's a teacher? Somebody's a teacher. ¿Alguien preguntó algo? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Look at the picture, guys, that we have on the right side. Okay. Aquí tienen un un adjective. Bright. ¿Qué otro adjective podrían ponerle a esta picture? Small. Small. What else? Clean. Comfortable. Comfortable. Very good. Comfortable. Modern. What else? Spacious. Modern. Spacious. Okay. Modern. Clean. Very good. Clean. Clean. Very good. Bright. Bright. Okay. Bright. And guys, tell me Clean. something. Very Seriously. good. Yes. Do you think, guys, that this is expensive? Yes. Yeah, maybe. If, What if do you a, think, guys? Do you think it's an apartment or a house? If, if, if it's an apartment, it's expensive. expensive. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, guys. I'm not, I'm not going, I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now. Okay, Walter, we have you here. Very good. Yvette, Letty, Rene, Gabby. All right. Now, guys, I'm going to show you two pictures. Okay? One is going to be an apartment, and the other one will be a house. And the only thing that I want you to do right now is to give me the adjectives for each picture. That's the only thing that I want. Because after that, we're going to learn how we construct the evaluations, okay? With nouns and with adjectives. But I want just right now, just to, for you to give me the adjectives that you can see according to the pictures, okay? Cool? Is it cool? All right. Okay. All righty. All right. Very good. Let me open this. And, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, let me double check it. I'm going to put it in a, in a big one right now for Gabby to, to see it. Yeah. Gabby, let me know if you're able to see it, okay? I can see. Now, what about now? Can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. All right, cool. Okay, guys. 
tell me something. Oh my God, I did escape. Sorry, Gabby. Okay, do me a favor. Um, on the on the left side, the left side picture. What do you think that, guys? Is it a, a house or apartment? An apartment. An apartment. apartment. An apartment. Okay. Okay. I want guys each of you to give me one adjective that describes that apartment. Roxy, could you please start with you? Only one adjective. That's only I need an adjective. That's all. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Gabby. Expensive. Okay, Luis. Modern. All right, Melvin. Comfortable. Very good. Rene Quintanilla. Tight. Very good. Adela. Comfortable. Very good. Emerson. Convenient. Very good. Uh, Mauricio. Right. Very good. Melvin Velasquez. Huge. Very good. Rafael Mena. Newest. Very good. Rene Quintanilla. Uh, again. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh, the apartment is... Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. you see that's what i asked you twice you can do it okay i will leave you and i will ask somebody else but think about it okay letty very clean okay rafael mena rafael here hello quiet i got, quiet. I got it i got it i got it okay okay go ahead Rene. Compact. Compact. Very good. Stephanie. Steffi. Where are you, Steffi? I, can't, I think Steffi is not here. All right. What about you, Walter? It's small. Small. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Do you remember the ones that we, that we saw right now? The adjectives? Okay. Which adjective do you think it's the most? Is it modern? More, yes, yeah. it's modern. What else? Yeah. Tell me the adjectives bright, that we saw. Bright, bright. bright. What else? Continue, modern, guys. Bright. Comfortable. Comfortable. What else, guys? Convenient. Okay. Clean. Clean. Is this convenient or inconvenient? What do you think? Convenient. Convenient. Okay. Take a look, guys, on the window. Do you think that is a safe place or a dangerous place? Mm. Safe place. Dangerous. Safe place. Dangerous. Okay, where is it located? Is it in the city? Downtown? What do you think? Da downtown. 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 Okay, very good. What else? Any other adjectives that you would like to add? I suppose that the permit is in the third or fourth yes. floor. Yes. Definitely, Luis. Yes, it's not on the first one. You're right about that. What else? Anything else? No? Okay. Expen Maybe noisy. Ma sure Maybe noisy, yes. That's a possibility. All right, tell me something. Do you think that a family can live there? No. Mm, mm, right? It depends on how big is the family, they, right? <laughs> they, they, yes. can, they can live in there, but, but it's, it's not comfortable. Okay, very good. Good observation. Okay, now take a look, guys, on the left side. On the right side, sorry. This is a house, right? Yes. Okay, tell me. Okay, please do me a favor, Gabby. What uh, what is the first adjective that you can say about this house? Huge. Huge. Luis. Yeah, modern. All right, Rene Quintanilla. Uh, old. Very good. Adela. Mm, bright. Okay, very good. Yvette. Comfortable. All right, Mauricio. Convenient. Very good. Melvin Velasquez. Luxurious. Very good. Luxurious, exactly. Roxana. Mm. All right, yes, definitely. Victor. Big. All right, big, exactly. Emerson. Huge. Huge, yeah, exactly. That is more than big, exactly. Uh, Stephanie. Hey, hello. Steffi. Yes? Hello. Yes, hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. It's okay, honey. Don't worry. What do you think about this um, house? Any adjective for this house? Um, yes, it's com 
comfortable. Comfortable, okay. What about you, Walter? Beautiful. Beautiful, exactly. Okay, guys, very good. Um, do you remember the adjectives that we saw right now? Private, spacious. Mm -hmm. What else? Quiet. Rafael? Quiet. What else? Private. Private, Beautiful. yes. 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 Luxurious. Luxurious, very good. What else? Bright. The, the combination of the colors are so pretty. Yeah, you like it, right, Yvette? <laughs> Yeah, very good. Excellent. Excellent job. All righty. Do you like it? You see? We're yeah. putting in practice the adjectives that we know right now. Okay. Now, guys, it is time. It is time for us to learn how we can evaluate those. Okay? Okay. Using adjectives and nouns. Okay. We're going to use for evaluation, we're going to use two words that I know that they are really familiar with you, for you, all right? To, with double O, and enough. Do you remember those words? Yes. 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 Okay, so that's what we're going to see right now. Okay, let me show you right now um, my screen as well. And guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you like a video, okay, that it will help you with the evaluations, okay? And the comparison as well. This video that we'll send it to you will, will show you the two things, okay? So you will be prepared and have a little bit of knowledge or idea about tomorrow's topic, okay? Got it? Okay, cool. So let me just a couple of minutes more. Ooh, ooh, let me go down. I want you guys to pay attention and listen to this um, audio. Uh, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back. So this is not what I want. There you go. Okay. This is what I want. All right. <laughs> 